First of all, we, as if you've heard all the sentiments that have been expressed so far, nobody has defined this gathering outside the ANC. Everybody has, who has spoken before me said, this gathering they regard as part of the processes of the ANC. It certainly, this gathering is not intended, at least from the steering committee point of view, we have not raised the issue of the president stepping down. And we are not here to discuss individuals. We're not here to discuss KB, we're not here to discuss the president, we're not here to discuss this or that person. We are here to discuss issues. And as a comrade Dambuza has said, we are going to discuss these issues in an orderly fashion as disciplined former soldiers. And some of, them are, some of us are still serving soldiers here. So there will be no such thing as name calling. The songs that we song will not be ribald so songs or songs that insult any, anybody and no insults directed at anyone. Many others are going to discuss the pool uh, to, to concern themselves with what is happening in MKMVA today, the, the young people, the 30-year-olds who, who, who wear uniform. Interrogate that and the uniform itself. The posture of MKMVA The posture of MKMVA, it's supposed to be an association. It's uh, projecting itself to be a political voice for all of us without consulting us or considering our views. The, recently, there is issue about medals and awards and honors, which we might want, people might want to talk about. <laughs> Other comrades are in, interested in investments, uh, what goes on, what, what happens to those invest, investments for which uh, <coughs> MK, MVA is, is responsible for. Many people are beginning to lose faith in our movement. That is why we had this performance on Agua Street. This movement which helped bring about the downfall of apartheid and usher in democracy and hopes of a united, non-racial, non-sexist, and prosperous South Africa. Many, even our ranks, have, even, have begun to write its obituary. And this is painful and sad. We may disagree with their di diagnosis about our imminent demise, but history is replete with uh, examples of liberation movements who were deserted because of their conduct by the electorates and ended up biting the dust. We therefore cannot ignore the warning signs, especially of our recent elections. It is up to the African National Congress to arrest this decline and this rot. It is up to and it is incumbent upon us to help the ANC to do so. Uh, we may well be ignored. Our efforts may well be frustrated by those who have an interest in preserving the status quo. We may therefore be ignored and our efforts may be resisted or subverted. And those 
who pursue a path that will lead us to ruin may prevail. If they do, the ANC will surely die. But let it not be said that the ANC died without us, without us trying to keep it alive. 